Well, hello everybody. Here's another 20 minutes or less craft. Um, sometimes you just don't have anything to do or don't know what to do, but you want to craft. And sometimes you want to make something for somebody and you don't know what to make. So hopefully this is something that, that you can do under 20 minutes, satisfy your mojo fairy, and go on your happy day. These are, I got this idea from Kylie Koo Studios, okay, and it's making word embellishments. Now these I used stickers and the print didn't come out as well. She used, uh, let me put these out of the way, she used printed out words that she did. These are my leftovers from Valentine's Day, so I'm just going to use these instead of trying to print out, you know, some more. So let me grab a stamp. I forgot. That's one thing I forgot to grab. So give me one second. I'll be right back. Okay. Now, um, she took her graphics, right? And she had a spray. I don't have a spray. If you have a spray, use it. That's cool. But she distressed the whole page, you know, the ones that she was going to do. All right, I've already done that. Still only took a minute. But I guess I should show you since we're trying to show you how to do a craft in 20 minutes or less. So, so all it was was just See, nothing spectacular, just getting a little bit on there. Okay. Set that off to the side. Yeah, I could probably use a, a paper cutter. Would get, probably make my lines a little bit straighter. So let me do that real quick. And straighten that line up. Oh, not too bad. For a girl, right? Wait. No. Okay. Here we go. Set that one aside. And of course, if you don't have a paper cutter, scissors are always great. And you don't have to use vintage colors. You can use any color you want. Okay. So let's see. There's five. All right, I'm going to do six. All righty. Throw all these extra trims away. Uh-oh, we got some mess here that I didn't clean up from earlier, so please forgive. All right, now I want to show you something real quick. You see how my edges are rough? I grabbed my blade that I used, I used for uh, cardboard. I didn't grab my other one, so it made my cut rough. But all you need to do... Is just a little bit of nail file if you don't like that rough and it's gone see I am going to trim this down a little bit on this end alrighty so then I'm going to and just ink the edges Okay. I probably should have just grabbed the, the other one, but it was the closest one. Okay. And that one I can trim off just a little bit.
Now this is, like I said, you don't have a whole lot of time, but say you want to make some ephemera or some things for a journal or a greeting card or, you know, anything you want. Or just, you know, make an ephemera pack and give it to somebody as a gift. There we go. Oh, I kind of cut that one cockeyed. Okay, that's better. Oops. All I'm doing when I'm putting the ink on the edges is not so much giving it a border. I'm kind of covering up the white of the paper. That one, I need to do it just a little bit. There we go. Okay. All right. So let's put that over there. Put that one back. And you can use encyclopedia paper, um, magazine paper, anything you want. I'm using dictionary paper. Okay. Now, all she did was she sprayed it and distressed the whole thing. But what I like. And I'll open it up and then I'll crumble it a different way. That way I get a bunch of crinkles in it. Now, of course, depending on how thin your paper is, you want to be careful unrolling it so you don't get a bunch of tears in it. But what I like when I do that, put that one aside, then I take my little ink pad, I want to spread it out too much, now I'm not so much inking on the white because usually we tear the white off. That looks pretty cool to me. Okay. Then let me see where's my glue stick. Let me get a piece of paper to an old. I'll just use the back of this. And this was so simple. Make sure there's words on the bottom, words on the top. Now see how simple this is? And now you can take, if you've got big hole punches or, you know, different shape punches. You can punch these out that way. Oops. I missed the spot with the glue. Okay. There we go. Need a little bit more glue. Alrighty. Now you can tear them out, you can cut them out. I kind of like the torn look.
You can make the border around it as big as you want, as small as you want. Now these extra pieces, I'll use those for collaging. You know, not the white, I'll throw the white out. But these little bitty pieces like this, they go in my collage bag. And that's a piece of white, not that. Alrighty, whoops, that's okay. There, now, let me show you this real quick. And look at that, in 11 minutes. We got some pretty cool looking word ephemera. So I just got a text from my daughter. I'll text her back. But I mean, isn't that cool? Just in 11 minutes. All right, now, if you wanted to, let me see, where's the others? Okay, these are those tags I was working on the other day. Let's see. Right here, your friendship is a treasure. See, that would go really nicely there. Hot glue, or just glue stick, rather. How cool is that? How freaking cool is that? And then here's one of the bookmarks I was working on and I didn't finish embellishing it any. I think, no, I don't like that. It's too thin. All right, but right here I can put, I can put, there. And I can peel off the edges or just leave them as is. That's no biggie, you know? But look at that. There's a craft in 20 minutes or less. Now, let's see. I've got one piece of cardboard. Well, let me show you another thing. Since Maybe you don't like the crumpled up look. All right. And we'll put those off to the side. Say you like a more smooth look. And that's cool. Some people do. Like me, I'm not a big pink person. But hey, to each his own. Here's another, um, what do you call it? One of these things. Okay. And instead of crumbling it all up, See, we just want to see this is all I'm doing there. I've already got some of these done because I was practicing earlier. Here's the other half of the one I did. So since we're still working on under 20 minutes, I'll go ahead and just that I have buried under stuff that I have not put away yet. Set that aside. And we will... Oops, didn't get 
get all the way through for that one. All right, so let's see, there's one. Wow, that's why I did the other side, because I forgot these are, um, when I was trying to make them, they got, they got Wumper Jawed. Nah, I'll have to cut that. All right. Oh, come on. Let's do the I'm your number one thing. Alrighty, so put these off to the side. Where'd my scissors go? There they are. Alright, and the same concept, actually. another thing that was done which I thought was cool actually I don't want that one I want this one so it's a little bit bigger No particular order. I'm not measuring. I'm not nothing. I'm just going to kind of throw a little bit in there. Some curly cues, you know? Let's see. This one says, My heart beats for you. There you go. You got some straight ones. You got some crinkled ones. And all in less than 20 minutes. Pretty cool, huh? So if you like my video, give me a thumbs up. Share, 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 share. And on that note, subscribe if you like me. And have a great day. God bless everybody.